Welcome back guys, Path of Exile 2 Dawn of the Hunt update is now available on PC platform, released just a few days ago. Its size is around 30 GB. It's the first major overhaul for the early access action role playing game. The update introduces the game's 7th class, the Huntress, along with several more ascendancies, hundreds of new support gems and items to greatly expand the potential for builds, 7 new endgame maps and much more. As usual, the update log is quite big. I'll give the link to it in the description of the video. In this video, I'll be updating my off-scale FSR frame generation guide for this game. Upon the update release, many people were complaining about performance issues. The developers have confirmed that the game's reflex implementation was causing these issues. They have disabled the setting for the time being. We'll be using version 0.7 preview 66 build of OptiScaler. You can download it for free from OptiScaler's GitHub page. I'll give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the asset section. Expand it. Click on the .7z link here. The game comes with DLSS Subscaler version 3.7.1. I'll manually update it to DLSS 4 Transformer model. Won't be using NVIDIA app to override DLSS Subscaler as I'll be using OptiScaler mod to inject FSR frame generation in the game. Click on download here. Under the latest version of DLSS Subscaler 310.2.1. Click on any of these servers. Just need to set the model preset to K in order to activate the transformer model of DLSS4. To verify the upscaler's details like its version and model preset, I'll be using DLSS debug overlay. To activate this overlay, I'll just run this registry code provided by Emos. Copy these lines. Create a new text file anywhere on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change its extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter, right click open with notepad, paste the lines here, click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. In order to disable the DLSS debug overlay, just replace the number 4 here with 0, like this. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. I'll revert the change as I want to enable the DLSS debug overlay. Right click open. Yes. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod. Open the mod's archive file. Copy the highlighted files. Three of them. Need to paste them in the game's install directory. Select the game in your stream library. Right click, manage, click on browse local files. Paste the files here. Change the name of nvngx.dll file to dxgi.dll. That's it. The mod has been installed. Now I'll manually update the game's DLSS upscaler. Open the upscaler's archive file that you downloaded earlier. Copy this DLL file. Open the game's install directory. Now open streamline folder. Replace the older version of DLSS upscaler with the latest version. This is the older version 3.7.10. This is the latest version. Now it's not mandatory to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting to use OptiScaler. But if you have an RTX GPU, it's recommended to enable this setting. Right click anywhere on the desktop, click on display settings, click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings, check this setting hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. If your monitor supports VRR, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage 3D settings, click on program settings from this drop down bar, select path of exile, scroll down to the end, enable VSync from here. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on setup G-Sync here and enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. Enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator. This step is optional. Click on display here and check this setting. G-Sync compatible indicator. Apply the changes. Now make sure third party overlay like RTSS or Afterburner is not running in the background otherwise OptiScaler's hotfix won't work properly I'll just use NVIDIA's performance overlay to show you the performance metrics we are ready to run the game I am from India we'll be using the game's Singapore based server login due to the significant changes added to the game by Dawn of the Hunt update the developers recommend playing the game with a new character see Dawn of the Hunt you can select the standard mode as well I'll stick with my old character. Yeah, in the menu you can see the DLSS debug overlay. Render preset used is K version of the upscaler 310.2.1. Auto exposure setting is disabled, so I'll enable it via OptiScaler. 
ओपन ऑप्टिक के लिए मेन्यू में प्रेसिंग द इंसर्ट की बोर्ड की फ्रॉम है चेक द सेटिंग ऑटो एक्सपोजर चेक द डीबा गोवले ऑटो एक्सपोजर सेटिंग इज ऑन नाउ फ्रेम जनरेशन डिसेबल फॉर द टाइम बिंग फ्रॉम दिस टॉप टन बा सिलेक्ट टी एल एस एस क्लिक ऑन सेव आई एन आई टू सेव द चेंजेस फॉर सेल रन द गेम विदाउट फ्रेम जनरेशन शो द गेम सेटिंग्स मेक शो रेंडर इज सेट टू डायरेक्ट एक्स ट्वेल्व वेलकन मोड डज नॉट सपोर्ट ऑप्टिक स्केल एफ एस आर फ्रेम जनरेशन फुल एच डी रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ स्केल सेट टू डी एल एस एस यूजिंग इट्स क्वालिटी प्री सेट मैक्सड आउट द सेटिंग्स टेक्सर क्वालिटी सेट टू हाई लाइटिंग शेडो प्लस जी आई हाई सेटिंग्स अगेन एंड वीडियो रिफ्लेक्स सेटिंग डिसेबल्ड वी कैन नॉट टॉगल द सेटिंग इट्स लॉक्ड एंजन मल्टी थ्रेडिंग ऑन नैट्स इट आई एल जम्प इन टू द थर्ड एक्ट सैंड सर्फ मार्श एरिया वी आर एन आई एल जस्ट जूम इन हेर एफ पी एस इज क्लोज टू वन हंड्रेड हेटिंग द जी पी बॉटल एक्ट वेन देर आर आर लॉट ऑफ नॉन प्लेबल कैरेक्टर्स ऑन द स्क्रीन द गेम बिकम्स वेरी हैवी ऑन द सी पी यू न्यूज एंगेज इन कॉम्बैट स्टैंड बाई मोड्स एबिलिटीज FPS stays close to 100. You can see FPS drop to 70 there. It's due to the high number of NPCs on the screen. I'll keep dodging. So 70 to 90 FPS. This is not looking good for me. I'm surrounded by these creatures. Close them. Yeah, we are suddenly drop to 60. Yeah, see. Okay, I'll just reload the same sequence with FSA frame generation on. Back to the game. Open Optics Killer menu. Check the setting frame generation. Check the setting FG hot fix and set the limit value to six. Check the setting FG allow aging. I'll check the debug view now. Click on Save and I. Displays are working properly for all of the images. No hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image, except for the DLSS debug overlay, as it's not part of the game's interface. Just disable it after verifying the upscaler's details. The color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images, so FSR smoothing effect should work properly. Let's play the game. One more feature is coming from behind. Yeah, FPS yes, increased to around 100. Again, I'm spamming abilities. Let these creatures come after me. It's going to stress the processor. After enabling FSR frame generation, there will be a slight increase in CPU load. Individual thread usage will be close to 90% in this game, and there are a lot of non-playable characters on the screen. Optics killer mod works very nicely. Hopefully the developers will be able to fix the performance related issues caused by Nvidia Reflex. To be honest, latency is still not a problem. Just make sure the base FPS stays above 60. Image quality is looking very sharp all thanks to DLSS 4. This is the transformer model. You just need to enable auto exposure setting from OptiScaler. This setting helps in reducing ghosting around objects. Also fixes shimmering produced by shiny objects in the environment. If you don't plan on using OptiScaler mod, then you can just use Nvidia app to override DLSS Subscaler. Don't need to manually update DLSS Subscaler. If you are wondering why I did not use the latest nightly build of OptiScaler mod in this game, it's due to that build's frame generation hard fix. It was not working properly for some reason. Not sure why, but the older build worked fine, as you can see. So that's it for the video guys I hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day